Musketeers, welcome to the Disneyland beat where our toes tap to a Disneyland drum. And we always whistle while we work. Well, 2022 should see the return of some of Disneyland's iconic experiences that have been missing from the park for nearly two years. A few things are being added and a few things are going away. Come on into the parks with us as we take a look at what 2022 may hold for all of us at Disneyland. Like, subscribe, and stick around. Disneyland is your land. Seek an adventure at the old pirates, eh? Make the jump to life, Bill. Hi there, I'm TC. And I'm Amy. And I gotta say, we've been desperately missing the nighttime spectaculars, Fantasmic, and World of Color. It seems like World of Color has spent the better part of the last four years inoperable and often drained. Currently, that's the status of the bay, which even has lots of temporary walkways built in order to facilitate all of the work. However, during the recent Destination D23, Disney confirmed that the nighttime spectacular at DCA will return. We don't know exactly when, but we think by the spring, at least personally. We would think the World of Color will be the first of the two park spectaculars to reopen. It requires a much smaller cast, but equipment repair may dictate that before budget does. Over in Disneyland, we also expect Fantasmic, our favorite Disney show, to open in 2022 as well, but we're calling a summer opening for that one, reopening with great fanfare to the seasonal crowds. Fantasmic and World of Color should be reopening with updated sequences featuring newer characters from films like Moana and Coco. We would love to see Moana's canoe included in Fantasmic with Moana, Hey Hey, and Maui sailing by on the river. The Main Street Electrical Parade turns 50 this coming June and will celebrate with a limited run of the beloved parade at Disneyland in summer of 2022. This is one super cute parade and a nostalgic one at that. Our favorite part has always been seeing Elliot the Dragon, but we look forward to seeing this fan favorite grace the streets of Disneyland once again. Another of Disney's many current construction projects is waiting behind the walls surrounding the beautiful submarine lagoon. A ride on the monorail shows the lagoon is drained and there's lots of work activity around the various entrances to the ride that you can see when you're driving the classic Autopia track. The signs on the wall say the subs will be resurfacing this winter and we have every reason to believe that sometime before March, the lagoon will be refilled and the Finding Nemo subs will begin their underwater circuit once again. Even if you don't always get on the ride, just having the lagoon back will add so much to this fantasy area. It seems to partner with the Matterhorn and it's just very much missed. Disneyland will be introducing the Magic Band to the parks in 2022. It's been in operation at Walt Disney World for many years now. They can be used as keys to the Disney hotel rooms and also as tickets for claiming Lightning Lane reservations and merchandise discounts. And scariest of all, you can charge park purchases to your hotel room or credit card with the Magic Band quick as a wink by linking everything in the app. Alexa devices will be installed in many, if not all, of the Disneyland Resort hotel rooms, and these will also link directly to your Disney account. It will feature the Hey Disney voice program that will allow you to make reservations, order hotel amenities, and get park information in a fun, vocal way. It even has the ability to introduce you to Mickey and Minnie directly. Fantasy Fair with the Royal Hall and the Royal Theater has been acting as an outdoor meet and greet, but in 2022, we fully expect the Royal Hall to reopen to indoor meet and greets with Fantasyland, Princes, and Princesses. The Walt Disney World equivalent has already opened, and we think as soon as COVID protocols allow, the castle doors will open again. The Royal Theater should resume performances in 2022, though it's a good opportunity to update or add new fairy tales to the Tangled and Beauty and the Beast shows that were running before the park closed. This delightful show will be one of the easiest for Disney to rebuild again. There are several shows and parades we expect to return next year, but Disney hasn't yet signaled if they will. The Magic Happens Parade barely got its run going, only playing for a few weeks before Disneyland closed for the pandemic. This fun parade was designed to be able to play both day and night and featured a lot of recent characters as well as classic favorites. We really enjoyed it. It was a fun, feel-good parade, just the right size for Disneyland. We've not heard any word of this parade being remounted, but we don't think its story is done, and at some point in 2022, we'll discover its future. The Hyperion Theater, now finding itself on the very edge of Avengers Campus, has sat empty since the start of the pandemic, and this show's cast has been let go. And if I didn't know any better, we're seeing costumes from that very show at Elsa's Fantasyland party as part of the Merriest Nights ticketed celebration happening at Disneyland this holiday. The costumes and many of the extended characters spotted look like they are right out of the show. When the theater does reopen, it's likely to have a new show rather than reopen Frozen again. 
and it would not be surprising if that show was Marvel-themed and tied into Avengers Campus somehow. The Fantasyland Theater has undergone no major changes to the scenery that we can see, but the future of the theater seems up in the air. It's very possible that Mickey and the Magical Map could come back in 2022 for a limited run, or Disney might create or import another show that would work well on the stage. But rumors abound that in the far future, the theater space might be repurposed for a fantasy land or related expansion, perhaps with a new attraction. For now, the theater's future in 2022 remains uncertain. Well, we know that in March of 2022, Toontown will close for the remainder of the year, including Gadget's Go Coaster and Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Spin, all for a major overhaul, which we've gone into detail on in previous videos, which you should check out. We're assuming Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will reopen with a new land sometime in 2023. We also already know that there will be an expansion to Downtown Disney, with construction starting in early 2022. Near the west entrance to Downtown Disney, the AMC Movie Theater space will be demolished, which includes the Earl of Sandwich and Sugar Boo Company for an extended open area with green space and more numerous but smaller shops. It looks like the ESPN building will stay though, and we suspect Disney will expand that space as time goes on in its current use as a virtual reality experience. Well, that's it for us today. Well, thanks so much for joining us today. We do think there's a lot to look forward to at Disneyland in 2022. See you real soon, Mouseketeers. See you real soon. Ah! Woo! <laughs>